What's up, boys? Uh, so some of you have been wondering how I've been getting the audio from Tower of Blitz and how I've been finding out what the songs are and you know how I've been uploading them and whatnot. So I'm going to be basically showing you how to get audio files from not only Tower of Blitz but basically any Roblox game that you can really think of that you know uses in-game audio, which is basically all of them. So yeah. That being out of the way, uh, let's get started. So first thing you're gonna want to do is obviously go into the game you want to get the audio from. That's kind of a given. And then step two, you want to get to the location or the timing or whatever the audio actually plays. You want you want the audio to be playing. Uh, so right now I'm gonna be trying to get the I believe it's the robotic overlord theme from this. So I'm just gonna fast forward the footage to when the audio starts playing. Now that the desired audio is preloaded and is playing in the background, uh, you're gonna want to hit the F9 key. Here's a clip of me hitting the F9 key on my keyboard. Uh, it'll open up the developer console, and you want to click Memory. And there's gonna be all these different tabs. Uh, you can look through all the tabs manually, but honestly, it's easy. It's just just to use the search feature, just search sounds, and then it'll open up all the sounds. Um, since I am looking for a song. Songs are usually going to be worth the most memory, and you, you can just, you, right now you could honestly just go into library and search for the stuff that way, but I find it easiest just to screenshot it. Um, best program to, you know, screenshot, probably Lightshot if you're, if you're on, uh, you know, Windows. Uh, for Mac, I think there's some weird hotkey that allows you to screenshot, but I, I personally prefer Lightshot because it just turns your print screen key into a into a screenshotting thing that way you can just screenshot it and then finish whatever game you're doing or whatever but honestly if it's if it's convenient you can just you know keep the console up and then look through all the the stuff that way all the ids that way just keep in mind that when things get unloaded then it's not going to show it in the console anymore so it's probably best to just screenshot all the the ids and if it's a game with a lot of audio, there's going to be a long, long list of stuff. So just bear that in mind. I would show you the rest of the gameplay, but we all we all know I won. I, I definitely won this. Like just just look at it. All right. So when you're looking for the actual ID uh, on Roblox, you're just going to want to go to the Create tab. It'll be up on the top. So you're going to click that, and then you're going to want to go into Library. And then you're gonna to want to go into audio. Now I'll just click on a random one just to kind of like, just to kind of get get it going. And then all you really have to do is just change the ID number up there with whatever the ID listed in the, the console is for whatever audio. You're gonna to have to go through probably a lot of odd different audio to kind of find the one that you want that you want. But you know that's that's how you do it basically. So I'm just gonna skip ahead to when I actually find the song that I need. 
Alright, so here's the song that I need. I'm playing it. That's basically the song that I was playing in game. So now you can you can take the audio in several different ways. Since this is a song that exists on like YouTube and other platforms, you could either just record the audio from YouTube or just take do a YouTube to MP3 converter or you know if it's on you know iTunes or something, just buy it. You know, respect you know respects the uh, the person that made it. Or B, you can just record using OBS directly and then convert it to an mp3 file. Um, that's what I did for the Wave 30 theme because it didn't exist on YouTube. Actually it did, I just didn't know the name of it because it was just uploaded called Wave 30 song so I didn't really know what it was until I was told in the comment section what it was. But I digress. That's basically what you would do. Um, obviously you'd want to configure it in such a way that it doesn't compress the audio. Um, there's plenty of tutorials out there to set up OBS, um, so yeah, if you have, if you want to capture the audio that way, you can do that. After that, I'll just take the audio and drop it into uh, DaVinci Resolve, and I'll make a audio visualizer. Um, like I said prior, there are plenty of tutorials out there on making audio visualizers on DaVinci Resolve, but. Uh, I'm not really in the mood to make one because it is it is kind of a process. The, the, the way I've been doing it recently um, has been pretty efficient. I've been able to crank them out a lot faster. The first one I did with like the where it goes around the, 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 the logo, honestly that took a long ass time and then I accidentally deleted it because, you know, DaVinci Resolve is a little bit, you know, quirky when it comes to, you know, taking parts out and I, I don't know, it's, it's, it, was, it was kind of a pain. And I was very upset that I lost it because it was like a lot of work to do that. Because I'm I'm kind of a smooth brain. I'm not exactly the brightest person, but basically what I do, I just installed a few plugins. Um, there's basically an audio visualizer plugin that I installed, as well as a Glow plugin that kind of makes it's called I think it's called X Glow or something like that. That basically makes um, any sort of asset you throw in pop out more. Uh, normally I'd get some type of cool like background thing, you know, to kind of while while the behind the audio visualizer. But I kind of got lazy this time. I just did a black background, um, which you've all seen because I already uploaded the video. Uh, but or maybe you've seen. I honestly don't know. But yeah, that's that's what I do to do to, to do the audio visualizer. I definitely recommend um, Lightshot OBS Studio and DaVinci Resolve. All all the all those programs are free and. They're very customizable, and there's a lot of support behind them. So, uh, very, very good stuff. Very good stuff indeed. So yeah, there you go. So uh, now you guys can pretty much take audio from any Roblox game and, you know, locate it, find out what it's called. You know, that way you don't have to, you know, slap requests on me. I mean, I'll still, I'll still upload the rest of the Tower of Blitz stuff, but beyond that, I'm probably not going to continue uploading music unless I start making my own, which is a plan. I eventually want to start uploading my own stuff, but don't have the motivation. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, you know, leave leave a comment saying, oh, it was helpful or oh, it was not helpful or I don't know, dislike the video or I don't know, like it maybe. I don't know. It's up, it's up to you guys. I'm not going to force you guys to do anything. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now.